Can't stop, won't stop, get guap. Ten white toes and them toy flip flops. Manicures and pedicures, I'm always tip top. When they say I'm not hot, all these lies need to stop. Cause I'm icy. Wife. Hey guys, it's Brooke. Today I'm going to be doing a hair tutorial. Just gonna do my simple bun that I always do. But, you know, I've been struggling with trying to find something to upload, so this is just what I'm gonna upload and then hopefully hopefully tonight I can upload not upload but film um my skincare routine but other than that I'm just gonna go ahead and get started I'm not gonna do a voiceover I don't think I might but I probably won't just gonna talk through it so let's go ahead and get started first I gotta take my ring off all right um what I'm gonna do to start off with is take my hair out of the back not back, but sleep back bun that's not really sleek. And shoot, my hair getting tangled. If you guys want a hair growth video, because if you've been watching my videos for a while, you probably can see that my hair has grown. But if you guys want a hair growth video, just let me know. I can give you guys tips on how I did that, even though my hair isn't in the best shape. But I think it is healthy. Anyways, first thing I'm going to do after I take my hair out, put a towel around me because do not want water all over me. And just going to spray my hair. And I usually spray my ends too. So yeah. just making sure all of my hair gets a little bit of moisture you know not like soaking wet so after I finish spritzing my hair which is still dripping wet like I said not to be I'm going to take this Garnier I think that's what it's called yeah whole blends leave-in conditioner and I just started trying this out but it smells good I mean I can't really say anything. One thing my hair is just really dry in general. But I'm going to put that throughout my ends because those are the parts that really get the most work in. Whenever I put my hair in a bun, they're not always, they're not tucked in. They're just bobby pinned down. So, yeah. Then I'm going to take my wide tooth comb and comb it out a little bit. I just detangle all around my hair. So after I detangle my hair a little bit, usually I will go through and put coconut oil in it to seal it in. But for the sake of this video, I'm not going to do that because I'm just going to rinse it right out in the shower. So the next step would be to take Eco Styler or whatever type of gel you like to use, but I use Eco Styler and I usually use the green kind, but I mean the argan oil kind is fine. I still have a little bit of the olive oil one, but I usually only use that when I need my edges to be really slick. But yeah. And I want to try out what is it, the gold Eco Styler? But don't know, don't know. So I just take some because I don't like getting it on my nails, but it still gets on my nails. And I'm going to go around the perimeters of my hair. I really focus on the front because I like it to be sleek. The back, I don't really care about because nobody really looks at the back. Everybody sees the front. So that's usually what I try to focus on, but I do make sure I get the back minimally slick it doesn't have to be all the way slick and I still have a little bit of old gel in my hair so yeah and I'll go around with my dimming brush to smooth it out and if I feel like I should add more ego styler I will after getting my hair slick I'm going to take a brush and I'm going to brush my hair down 
And I use another brush usually after this if I really want to get it slick. I use a different brush. I'm gonna show you guys in a second. I use this mini hard bristle bristle brush. She doing my hair got me out of breath. Yeah. I use this to really slick it down. Normally I only use this when I do my slick back buns though. I can use the other I can give out with the other one. Okay, next step. Putting it nose piercing is feeling weird. Putting it in a pineapple. And I'll wrap it around three columns. But I, this is where really all the slicking comes into play. Like a lot. But yeah. Going to wrap it around to see this the hard part. Because the fact that it's still some hair that takes forever to get through the loop that triggers me. And it's not even. See? I'll be back momentarily. Sorry if the camera moved a little bit. Now, this is usually where I sleep my edges at. I'm probably gonna have to look at my phone to do that. So I dip a little bit on my edges to brush in. And let me see if I can zoom in. So yeah, I'm gonna do Okay, so now I'll take a little bit of my edges on the side and try to sweep them. Basically, the magic of it all. And I only got six minutes left on my SD card to record. Probably less now. Okay, so I did my edges. The next easiest step, maybe not the easiest, but for the bun, I just flip my hair back. Yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not too exciting. And then I just, can you just see? Flip my hair back. And then I just bobby pin it. Um, if you have like fine curly hair, yeah, I don't really have fine curly hair. But if you do, you know, you can just, um, you can use a wide tooth comb. Maybe you can tease your hair or you can just comb it out. Basically, pick your hair out. To make your bun seem bigger, so I'm gonna bobby pin this real quick because I'm running out of time on my SD card. And I'll be back. Um, uh, yeah, so after bobby pinning it, this is the final product. You know, my edges might look a little bit better if I was in the bathroom, but the bathroom doesn't have that good of lighting, and I'm too lazy to move all my stuff in there. But yeah, um, uh, I mean, sometimes it can be bigger than this. On bad hair days it's really hard for me to probably pin it down but that's like if my curls are defined or something but other than that this is usually my go-to hairstyle no pineapple you know cuz pineapples they just they don't look that good on me but yeah so if you guys have any other questions concerning my hair, you can leave them in the comments or you can request a video for me to make just talking about my hair. Duh. And, uh, yeah. Oh, y'all look at this. I married myself. $9 at Walmart. And look at this. Uh. <laughs> I look ugly up close. Uh. 
I meant to show y'all this, but I got this from AliExpress because everybody keeps asking me where I got these necklaces besides my real one. These were eight dollars on AliExpress, so go snatch you a necklace, save your coins. Um, shoot, I ran out of stuff to say. Whatever, I'm out. Hi guys. If you're still watching to this point, you're the real MVP. Follow my spam page. Bye. But you ain't never gonna be happy till you love yours. Such thing as a life that's better than yours. Love yours. Such thing as a life that's better than yours. Love yours. Such thing as a life that's better than.